Stadium today, reliant on a 32-year-old Brazilian whose best years seem to be some seasons ago, but who's being asked to produce at a seriously high level again. And Marino to play off of him. That is vital for Savarese in the Timbers today. And Superic. And then McGraw trying to swing at the ball as he turns. Araujo. Benji Michel. Alexander Pato. Herrera. Akindele. Junior Urso. It's just as well from a Timbers perspective that McGraw cut that one out because Pato was right behind him. But if Orlando City has their defensive structure sound, that's where they miss the Valeris and the Blancos of the world. Van Rankin. Because, John, they become a little bit too predictable because Jimmy Chara is the most... Paredes, Moreno, this is nice from the Timbers. It's Van Rankin, and Paredes arriving. It's as close as either side has come to an opening goal. And here we are talking about can they find a way to open up the defensive posture from Orlando City. Diego Char, good posture, Paredes playing into Moreno, great inside out and a fantastic ball whipped in from Van Rankin here. As Nia runs into Steidahar, the goalkeeper, but what a fantastic ball in. And Paredes should have done better. Great spell of possession. Back in the city where he went to university. Junior Ursa. In the end, thought, why not? There's no challenge was imminent. And the referee, Marcus de Oliveira, now with the whistle to commence the second half. Akindeli with the give and go. Michel. And now Pereira. Neither goalkeeper's had a great deal to do thus far. Chamutinho. Zukaric watchfully clear. Now it's Junior Urso. Alexander Pato. Junior Esso through the middle, scores! And silences the Timbers army. Orlando ahead on the west coast again. Well, there's no denying the pedigree of a player like Alexander Pato. Fantastic player early on in his day for the Brazilian national team. But how about this run here from Junior Urso? We said it in the first half, he has the propensity to take some chances to see the space in front of him. Scored four goals in 2021, gets his second of the year. But what a great little dink of a chip from Pato and a calm finish and a fantastic start to this second half from Orlando City. Janssen's out of position, but how many times is he going to recover and slide over to provide that little bit of balance? Oh, it's really nice from the Timbers. <laughs> they played some of their best football since going behind. And so far, Janssen and Carlos have been up to the challenge. There was potentially a late challenge there by Bravo, but the referee has allowed play to go on. Juan. Benji Michel. The referee is for the first time going to go to his pocket because of that late challenge by Claudio Bravo. Did a real good job getting forward. This is the yellow card challenge here, late on Junior Urso, and good officiating again. Pato is wrestled to the floor. By Jose Carlos Van Rankin. Ever since they shipped six here against Seattle last August, since then they've only lost once on this ground. Alexander Pato is clearly pulled back by Van Rankin, who's on a yellow card, oh, and that yeah. was cynical. And it's a similar offence to the first yellow, and Van Rankin's off here. Navarese will watch the replay. This, this is a yellow at any other moment on the field. And you're on a yellow. That's a yellow card. Absolutely 100%, no argument.
Here's Moreno. And Moreno with uh, an effort that was always veering wide. It's Paredes. And Paredes, was he tricked? Paul and Phil have got a case for a penalty. Marcus de Oliveira took a moment, thought about it, and then pointed. Well, and it's a great little cut here from Paredes. Does Pereira come in with his left foot and impede Paredes? That look is difficult. This one is not. That one gets him. Remember Mora and remember Valeri at MLS Cup. This, though, Christian Paredes for parity with 10 minutes to play. And Paredes getting involved with Steiderhart in the net after the ball went in. There is plenty of ill feeling out there. Late whistle from the referee, but the right one. Paredes steps up right down the middle. Now this asks some questions for Giovanni Savarese, because now do you bring in Perea? Carl Smith. Ooh. And on a ground where bicycle kicks are not unfamiliar, it was Jean Moutinho trying his luck. Oh, that's a painful one for Schlegel, who's done his opponent, the recently arrived bodily, a favour by jumping straight back up. But Now, a player on the floor, a yellow card, looked to be brandished towards Michel, but we'll confirm that for you. Bonier is the player, I think, on the floor for that reason. Now, is that violent conduct? Because if it's deemed to be, that's not yellow, that's red. Forward by Diego Char. Janssen actually headed it against his own player rather than to Kyle Smith. Blanco feels that he's got a case for a free kick, and it's a yellow card to Robin Janssen. Paredes. Christian Paredes. Blanco! And Steiderher earns his money with the final act of the game as this one finishes one apiece.